The woman's feet were instantly ensnared by the sand, trapping her in its grip, and then her hands became trapped as well, leaving only her piercing screams to pierce the desolate beach. The man leaped out of the car, determined to rescue her, but the treacherous sand sent him tumbling to the shore, where he became a helpless feast for its insatiable hunger. With the blistering sun beating down, each person was left with a parched, dry mouth. The man refused to be a sitting duck, and nearby, a table adorned with a few remnants of food beckoned. If he could reach it, perhaps he could prolong his survival. He painstakingly navigated between two surfboards, inching forward towards the table, every step fraught with peril, however one surfboard slipped beneath his feet, leaving him desperately clinging to the table's edge. The cunning sand, hungry for its prey, continued to slowly shift the board, with no support in sight. The man's plight grew ever more harrowing, a horde of tentacle-like creatures was viciously attacking him. The man summoned his last reserves of strength, desperately clawing his way onto the table, however, his stomach was already drenched in blood. Despite his injuries, the man managed to find some food and drink. He began violently vomiting, and in the next second, his stomach erupted with grotesque blisters of varying sizes. At that moment, the overweight man recalled that last night he had stashed everyone's cell phones together in the trunk. The woman decided to take a risk. Standing on the bumper, she used a key to pry open the trunk. After several attempts, the woman successfully managed to stand on the bumper as well and inserted the key, unlocking the trunk. However, she lost her footing, and her fingers became trapped in the trunk. Just then, a police car happened to pass by the beach. Relief washed over the others as they excitedly shouted and screamed, afraid that the police officer would pass them by without noticing. The man was in the midst of scavenging when he abruptly found himself frozen in place. A monstrous creature hidden within the sand had firmly ensnared him. The creature pulled him deeper into the sandy abyss, ultimately devouring half of his arm. The others were petrified, but one of them remembered the pepper spray. They hastily suggested using it against the creatures. The monsters recoiled in fear, but the police officer who had been trapped with half an arm buried in the sand had already vanished. A tragic victim of the insidious creatures, although they had lost their only chance of rescue, it sparked a glimmer of hope in the man's eyes. If they tightly wrapped their feet and ran fast enough, perhaps they could evade the relentless attacks of the sand monsters. With determination, he began collecting any towels or fabric he could find. However, in a moment of misfortune, he lost his balance and tumbled off a railing. The sand creatures, swift and merciless, instantly swarmed his entire body. Helplessly, his companions could only watch as he was devoured, consumed to the last morsel. The prolonged compression had caused the overweight man's lower limbs to ooze fresh blood, and the creatures became unnatural naturally excited upon contact with it, disposing of the overweight man right before their eyes. With only two survivors remaining, they battled through the grueling hours until darkness engulfed the beach. As the day's time elapsed, the relentless creatures underwent a sinister transformation, sprouting enormous, nightmarish tentacles, glowing ominously in the darkness. They launched relentless assaults on the remaining pair. The woman managed to climb onto the roof of a car, where she discovered a barrel of gasoline. Pouring it all over the beach, she dropped a lit match, engulfing the colossal tentacles in a sea of fire. After a struggle, they eventually succumbed, and tranquility returned. As dawn broke, a diver enthusiast stumbled upon them. The creatures in the sand had seemingly vanished without a trace. But would these creatures truly disappear so easily? 